Hello everyone welcome back to the YouTube channel and today we're back with the Cobra Kai videos and obviously reviewing Cobra Kai Season 3. Uh, we reviewed obviously Cobra Kai Season 1 and 2, Karate Kid 1 and 2. Uh, Karate Kid 2 is prep for Cobra Kai Season 3 as obviously we know Okinawa, uh, Kumiko and Chosen are in this season. Um, if you have never seen any of the episodes I may just give you a massive spoiler but um. Go and watch all that. Also, source material to get you prepped for season three. Obviously, a lot went down at the end of season two. We're going to talk about that and obviously what happens in the first episode. Episode two will also drop shortly after this. Uh, and obviously, a few other things will be mentioned in this. So, you don't want to be spoiled in regards to plot, characters, and more. Start straight into it. But before then, subscribe and like as always. Comment from the, for anything else you want to see from the Cobra Kai, Karate Kid universe, or any other fighting stuff like no retreat no surrender or any bruce lee films that you are a fan of let me know down below and i'll be sure to hit them at the park enjoy so obviously cobra kai season three um is the aftermath to cobra kai season two episode 10 and when miguel was hospitalized robbie went on the run sam was hurt by being sliced by uh, tory tory kicked out of school and having to take on multiple jobs to look after her mother. A lot obviously goes down in this episode. Um, obviously, Johnny and Daniel unite towards the, at the end of the episode to hunt down Robbie. Uh, Daniel's been on it for a little bit, but obviously he goes to Johnny as he's the dad and he wants to be involved to be able to find him and reassure him to be fine. Louis returns to the dealership, one of the most... I don't really... I'm not a big fan of him. I really... Didn't think he should have returned, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, it's cool to see him back, you know, after everything he did in the past, you know, hopefully he can re, um, repay it. Um, but what I loved about this episode the most was the, the, the all valley style fighting between Miguel and, you know, the random student. Uh, basically, it was a huge metaphor for him, you know, dying technically because he was getting beat for most of it. Uh, but then towards the end, when Johnny came and then gave him a little speech, I mean, keep fighting and fight, and you saw him getting better and better in the fight. And then towards the end of the episode, he finally wins and wakes up. And it's such a huge moment because, in theory, Johnny's the one who motivated him and pushed him to fight better in that dream sequence and to fight for his life. And it's such a good metaphor, you know, a fight is as much of anything as fighting for your life. And uh, it gave us a really cool fight. It lasted the whole episode, you know, <laughs> longest fight ever, probably long as Robbie and he, as long as Robbie and Eli's in season four. But um, yeah, really cool sequence that brought Miguel back to the world and set up episode two. Uh, yeah, that were the main parts of this episode. As I said, um, Sam and the other students returned to school. Uh, a bit of a face off between Hawk, and Dimitri, Hawk, and the rest of the Cobras are hated because they look weak. Dimitri and the rest of the Miyagi Do students are seen as sort of heroes because they were well fought and obviously we won at the end of it technically. Because Robert Rob killed Miguel basically. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's a lot going on, a lot setting up for the rest of the season. Tori didn't actually feature in this episode. The Cobras returned to Cobra Kai. And uh, obviously, um, Kreese just he's basically just writing off what happened and just forgetting about and not caring about the students in a lot technically he just sees them as weapons and as uh, just people who just need to just keep fighting and fighting he doesn't see them as people with problems and backstories and all this story stuff uh, and this is the issue what I have with Chris um, you know you have him so you seeing you see you feel bad for him in the future you do but these are the moments that make you think he's a psycho and he is a psycho but he just wants the best for the kids at the end of the day in some ways you know he's going about it the wrong way but you understand his methods uh but yeah robbie did appear in this episode as well uh, briefly he had a haircut it looks a lot better it like a like he's got a mop head but uh, yeah, it sets up for episode two. Not much to really talk about, but a fantastic episode nevertheless to set up the beginning of season three and where season three is going to go. With obviously both dojos, well, Johnny and Daniel in doubt of ever returning and the hopes of Miguel and Robbie's futures being sorted. Uh, thanks for watching uh, this episode two. As I say, we'll drop very soon. Subscribe and like. 
take care for now and hope you're enjoying Cobra Kai as much as I am. It's been a brilliant show so far. And thanks for watching as always. Thanks for the support and take care. Goodbye.